Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got more Shane Gillis today. Welcome back. I'm so excited for this one. The last ones were so good. Yeah, we've really enjoyed Shane Gillis thus far. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. The Trump impressions had me crying. Yeah, and the Special Olympics one yes. brought back some memories. So. Yeah, with our friend we used to work with. Yeah, and his demeanor in general. Super, super funny. So mm -hmm. ISIS and Girlfriend is what we're going with today. 2023, fresh, recent material. Nice. And um, looking forward to a little bit more Shane Gillis. You ready me to get too. Going? Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> this is something I'm dealing with in my life. I just I recently found out that the girl I'm dating, her ex is a Navy SEAL. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks dick, dude. That's the worst ex of all time. I never even thought it. You want to feel insecure as a man? That's the worst. <laughs> I never, never even thought of that one as like that could happen to me. <laughs> I spent my whole life thinking black guy, worst case on this. <laughs> By the way, I mean that with all due respect to the black community, dude. For real, I wish people feared my dick like that. I, w I wish my dick struck fear into entire races. <laughs> Nobody fears my dick, dude. Nobody fears my dick. <laughs> Other than like women in parking garages. They... <laughs> you get me in a parking garage, all of a sudden my dick's top of the food chain. <laughs> See me lurking behind a pillar in there. Just... <laughs> with a GameStop bag. <laughs> nah, dude, Navy SEAL. It's a tough one. I do this thing, it's not a good thing, but whenever, whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look. Women don't respect it. it kind of makes me look like a bitch. <laughs> I like it. I... <laughs> I can't stop doing it. And normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird he wants to hang out with kids. Like, that bad. You know, I'm like, <laughs> this one's tough. This is a tough ex to make fun of. Just when I'm walking around the apartment all day, just pff, fucking Navy SEALs. <laughs> They're kind of pussies if you really think about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. <laughs> That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude. You know who's actually brave? Al-Qaeda. That, that takes courage and bravery. Just in pajamas, throwing rocks at tanks. Heroic shit, dude. Just you and your boys going out. In flip-flops. You're all gonna get fucked up. <laughs> no training. Zero military training, dude. Those guys... Those dudes, they had fucking, they had one set of monkey bars. That's what they all trained on. <laughs> and they were proud of the monkey bars. You remember that video? You've seen them using the monkey bars. They were, they, they filmed themselves using the monkey bars and then sent that tape out to the world like, not bad. <laughs> A buddy of mine watches like, uh, like death videos on the internet. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he watches them. If we're hanging out, I'll watch. We watch. I watch. But I was over at his place. We were watching. I don't know if you know this. The war in the Middle East is just on the internet. The whole fucking thing. Every dude out there on both sides was wearing GoPros the entire time. Like, you can watch it. We watched like three hours of the war in Iraq. And after the first hour, I found myself starting to cheer. Not cheer, but like... <laughs> Relate. I felt like I could relate more to the monkey bars guys. You know what I mean? They were a little more my speed. You ever wonder how you would do out there? Watch those guys. Those are just normal fucking dudes. Second shots are fired. There's no game plan. Everyone's like, oh, shit! <laughs> Very relatable. Guns jamming. Try to fire a rocket. It goes straight fucking backwards. <laughs> They're very, they look like me trying to fire a gun. Their feet move when they shoot. <laughs> Very relatable. They also have never won. They, ne they got fucked up every single time. Bad. They would blow up like one truck every five months. They'd be just as surprised as everybody. <laughs> Shit finally worked out. You could hear it in their voice. Someone would blow up, they'd be like, oh! <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, that's a human reaction. That's relatable. That's what I would do if I saw a fucking explosion. I'd go, oh! <laughs> 
That's human. You ever watch us kill people? I can't relate to that at all. There's some Black Hawk helicopter with night vision, mows down like 40 people. Pilot gets on, he just goes, clear. Just flies, <laughs> just flies away. It's like, yo, that's a psycho. That guy didn't give a fuck about that. At least ISIS is down there having uh. fun, dancing afterwards. His demeanor just kills me I'm every time. Dead. The way he just is able to slide in the jokes. I know, so effortlessly, like just like it's so like but normal. He, even we saw like his uh, ability to use sound effects and stuff, right, with the <laughs> Trump stuff before. Yeah, and he just is able to throw them in. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm dead at the clear. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just on a whim, decides to. I love Shane Gillis. He's hilarious, oh, He's man. so good. And even taking a topic like this, I mean, most comedic stu- subjects are somewhat difficult to make the sketches out of, and that's why yeah. they're entertaining. But, um, you know, how we went from his girlfriend uh, dating a Navy SEAL yeah. to what it's like watching ISIS and how he can relate yeah. to it. <laughs> Literally, like, what? How did what? we go there? It's just crazy. I know. Anything you want to add? No, I think he's just, like you said, he so effortlessly makes it. It's like, almost like it's just his normal demeanor. Like, you yeah. can just, like, have a conversation. Like, we're having a conversation at exactly, the bar or Exactly, which I like. It doesn't like seem like this big, like, pre-rehearsed, yeah. like, delivery acting. That's what makes it so funny. I yeah. think it's so natural. It's just right? his personality. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like Ewok Village down there, you know? <laughs> Also, I'm not... I'm not actually pro ISIS. <laughs> All right? It's just a Navy SEAL did fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> and I am having a pretty tough time dealing with that. It sucks, dude. Can't get it out of my head. Some fucking cool, jacked hero. Just getting tactical on my sweet baby's pussy. <laughs> just clearing out every corner of my sweet angel's box. Checking behind every door in there, just clear, go, red team, advance. <laughs> now I'm in there fucking. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fuck, I know we're laughing and having a good time, but for real, that does suck. That sucks. <laughs> that absolutely sucks. Sexually, sexually, I have to, I have to follow a fucking Navy SEAL. They never quit until the job's done, dude. That's their whole thing. I quit a lot, all right? The job's done when I'm tired, which is usually pretty early into the mission. <laughs> My arms start shaking pretty early. They give out. Next thing you know, we're having belly-to-belly missionary. <laughs> Just hunched over, breathing in her ear like a pug for five minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Just coughing. Coughing during sex is funny. Like a pug. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. You guys know Belly to Belly Missionary, dude. Don't (laughs) fucking. I saw this crowd, dude. I see you, boy. A lot of belly belly tonight, dude. This guy's hunched over. (laughs) You don't even think about that noise you're making in that poor woman's ear. (laughs) Every woman in this room has heard that noise. You've never thought it. The only way I can describe it is like, you ever lay down and a dog starts sniffing your ear? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Every just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Like a pug. <laughs> <laughs> belly to belly. Belly to belly. Oh, God. I have a little. Okay? Yeah, I'm just, it reminds me of a conversation I had with my friend once where she said, what did she say? <laughs> her, her boyfriend couldn't support himself, so he was just flopping on her belly to belly. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, it's a real thing. Well, um, <sighs> I I'm gonna be make sh- mindful to make sure that uh, avoid <laughs> belly to belly in the future and not sounding like a pug. <laughs> but oh um, God. yeah, I mean, you know, we we went again. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I don't know it's a natural got to this progression part, of events. But we did. Anyways, let's let Shane carry us out here. Hilarious. Can't control myself. Got tears going down my, <laughs> my cheeks. So Shane's doing it again. 
No, my girlfriend and I, we have sex and it's fine. It's okay. One thing that's funny about though is uh, it's a new enough relationship that my girlfriend's still loud during sex. You remember that? You remember that phase? It's still new enough in the relationship that my girlfriend like screams every time we have sex. And I'm just up there like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, lady. I've seen women walk through this, no problem. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, it's a nice gesture. And sometimes it tricks me, sometimes I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe it's not gonna fit. <laughs> no, it's gonna fit. <laughs> it's gonna fit, it's gonna fall out a couple times. <laughs> No, the screaming, the screaming phase is about done. We moved in together, so that's when that, that's when that ends. Once you, before you live together, sex is like, yeah, fuck me, yeah. <laughs> Once you move in together, sex slowly becomes just some lady laying on a bed next to a pile of unfolded laundry, just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> Ow, you're on my hair. Oh, well, we live together now. My girlfriend moved in with me, so we have sex, and uh, as soon as we're done having sex, I wish that she would fucking evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> no? I would, no, you guys are right. I hate playing Xbox by myself, dude. What the fuck? I love having it around all the time. Fucking turning on lights. Asking me to hang out. No. No, we hang out. I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to, I'm not used to hanging out with a woman all the time. I'm not used to hanging out with women. I don't have any female friends. I'm more of a having a good time type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what women do for fun. Just fucking fold shit or something like that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look, I know that's not the best joke of all time. From your seats, that's not the most well-crafted joke. What do women do, fold shit? But from up here, from up here, it's a very, very funny joke. <laughs> I get to say something as dumb as, what do women do, fold shit? And then look out and see about 15 different women going. <laughs> <laughs> I understand most of the women here are girlfriends that were dragged to this show <laughs> that already don't really like me because every time they're in their car, their boyfriend's like, baby, baby listen to this part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> he is so funny. Yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> he kills me. Did you have a favorite part throughout that? Um, I think the belly to belly and the pug were pretty good. Um, I honestly I liked a lot of it. Like I think that he even took the parts that usually would be really touchy, like the ISIS kind of yeah. stuff, yeah. and still made it like relatable think, and funny, yeah. and not from like a offensive standpoint. Yeah, I think it was a solid ten minutes. Before yeah, it was content. There wasn't literally one piece where I was like, eh. I wasn't sure for the first minute. I was like, hmm, this doesn't seem like it's going to be as funny as the other two. But at the True. end of it, I, it was for me. Once when he was talking about his girlfriend in the Navy SEAL in the beginning. Yeah. 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 So hilarious. Three for three from, from Shane Gillis for me. Yes, me too. That and a thousand. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Hit the now like we need button. another one. <laughs> yeah. Let us know which one you want to see. Uh, hit that. Hit the comments and let us know. Hit the like button as well. If you enjoy this, helps with your algorithm as much as it does ours. We've got lots of comedy on the channel, guys. We've got the Joe Rogan Experience, Try Not to Laugh. we got Shane Gillis. We've got um, The Machine. We've got... The Machine. He was funny too. We've got George Carlin. We've got all that. Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, we got tons. So uh, if you like comedy, this is the place to be. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. We drop two videos every single day. Sometimes it's comedy, sometimes it's music, and sometimes it's sports. But you have a good mix of content in that subscription. So hit that button now, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys.